Travel Rap. It's the Travel Rap Podcast. What's really good, y'all? Welcome to the Travel Rap Podcast, the place where the art of storytelling meets the world of travel. I am your host, Frank Nitt, and for today's destination, we're going to the beautiful city of Zhongli. Zhongli, Taiwan. Uh, great place. Great place. Uh, spent a good amount of time there, probably about three weeks or so, maybe a little more. Um, it was kind of our, our home city as we toured around Taiwan and, and China a little bit. So, uh, there's the setup for you. So you know why I'm there now. Um, on one of the nights I was there chilling in the city, didn't have a show, didn't have any interviews or business to do. So I was kind of hanging out, just chilling. Right. So they say, Frank, we want to take you to the night market. You have to see the night market. So in Taiwan, and I'm assuming in and around China and maybe other places in Asia, uh, and I'm sure it happens to other places in the world, but this is my first experience. It was a night market where from, say, uh, midnight or 10, a, uh, 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Uh, is a, a outside market of when I tell you everything, everything, food, clothing, Toys, uh, video games, uh, uh, anything you could think of, hair products, uh, kitchen, where it was like Target outside in the middle of the night in Taiwan. So, and, you know, so they say, Frank, we're going to take you there. I say, okay, cool. We're going. So we're walking through the streets and as we're walking, as we're walking. I begin to get a a, a, a a really thick aroma of, for lack of a better term, shit. It was shit. I could smell shit. Right? So I'm walking, and I'm kind of, it's a pack of us, and I'm kind of in the back of the pack, and I'm walking along, and I'm just smelling this shit. So I'm looking, and I mean, it's, it's getting so strong that I thought it was on me. Like, I literally stopped, checked the bottom of my feet, I, listen, looked around my shoulders, maybe a bird got me. I don't know, but nothing. And, I, and I'm telling you, this, this smell is like permeating. It is getting thicker as we walk towards the market. Just walking along, do, 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 do. So, so I, I say, hey, hey, guys, to the crew of people along with, hey, 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 hey. Maybe somebody, you know, uh, put their foot in some wayward uh, doggy do or uh, pool, uh, back there, Be everybody check the bottom of your shoes, because I smell, you know, people see dead people, I smell shit, people, <laughs> so at any rate, uh, so everybody kind of chuckles, especially the ones that were from Taiwan, and, and understood what was happening, I had no clue, right, so everybody kind of chuckled, nah, Frank, everybody good, that's just kind of the, the air, so, oh shit, the air is shit. Okay, cool. So we get to to the night market, and as I say, uh, you know, there's everything you could think of there to buy, to purchase, to to do whatever you would like to do with, right? Uh, it's everything is there: stereo equipment, computers, uh, uh, anything, couches, uh, beds, everything is in this market. It's a long block where you can just walk. And walk and walk, and it's music and food and everything, right? So as we're walking, now mind you, um, uh, uh the smellicus shiticus is still in the air. <laughs> it's in the air, heavy. It's heavy, right? So we walking along, doody doody do, and the uh, uh, the homie says, "Hey Frank, um, that uh smell that you were smelling, let me show you what it is." I said, "Oh okay." So we take me along, boo boo boo, and we walk. And it's actually food. It's food. And there's a, 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 a Mandarin or maybe Cantonese translation that the person talking to me could not enunciate the Cantonese version or Mandarin version. I don't know what it is. But, uh, but he knew that it translated to, in English, to English, stinky tofu. So this was what it was. It was stinky tofu. And let me explain. So stinky tofu is tofu in like this brown, bubbly, kind of gelatinous, boiling 
for lack of a better term, looks like shit. It looks like shit. It looks like really, really strenuous hot shit. It's 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 brown. It's ugly, but it's crazy because here's the crazy part. So he, the place he took me to, you know, it's outside. So the dude has this really big like. It's like a cauldron. It's like it's like a, a vat, you know, like where they had, you know, where they would mix up bodies and spells and kill people, right? Like, well, so so it's a big old vat and it's filled up with liquid and tofu. And when I tell you this man had a line, oh my goodness, down the block of people trying, and it smelled like sh- so it it looked to me like that you were eating little cubes of shit, it, right? But the people. Loved it. They loved it. So it was a line all the way down the thing. So, you know, he spooned it up, spooned it up, boom. And I swear to you, this smell is intense. But then they begin to explain to me <laughs> that this particular person, his line was the way it is because he doesn't wash his pot. They want the buildup and the access from all the seasonings and water and tofu and whatever else. They put it in there to build up. And then when he makes a fresh pot, he just pours it into the old pot. And whoever has the pot that's been marinating the longest, has the most flavor, gets the most patrons. And so the more you shit, the more they get. So at any rate, so this line was all the way down the block. Now they tried to get Frank to try it. Frank ain't trying it. I am not that adventurous uh, I'm going to tell you all some stories throughout the journey of this uh, this podcast, but I am not that adventurous. You will learn that even though it looks rather adventurous, Frank is not that adventurous. At any rate, so, um, yeah, man, stinky tofu, man. So, like, I, I've never smelt anything like this. I literally thought that I shit on my own self or I stepped in some or something because the smell was intense, intense. But if you're adventurous or you like tofu, if you ever get to Taiwan, Jung Lee, night market, find a dude with the old, well, with the old pot. His pot is old and it's cruddy. It is cruddy. It is. It is like my southern, uh, southern cats say, uh, from the mud. It is cruddy muddy. It's, it's in there. Find him. Eat you some stinky tofu. Don't call Frank. I'm not. I refuse to be involved with the stinky tofu. At any rate, Travel Rap Podcast. I'm your host, Frank Nitt. I'll see y'all next time. Deuces. Yeah. Travel Rap. Travel Rap. Skin. Travel Rap. Travel Rap. Travel Rap. Travel Rap. Travel Rap. Travel Rap. It's the Travel Rap Podcast.